In this video tutorial, we're going to be working with symbols and um, learning about instance names and uh, ways to um, create um, movie clips or buttons or graphic objects and writing some simple codes uh, that manipulate them. So uh, I opened up ActionScript 3.0 and um, first thing I'll do is I will uh, create a, uh, an image. So I'll go with the Polystar tool um, and obviously uh, as a default it will select um, a pentagon shape, uh, five-sided, um, change the fill so it looks a little bit better. Um, but actually what I think I'd rather do is uh, create a, a star um, and as a default it would be a five-sided star um, but we could also create a uh, ten-sided star um, for some of the simple programming that we will we will create so let's do that so um, we could change the colors of these obviously uh, pick our bucket and decide if we want um, uh, green um, or blue or red um, these are these are nice shaded gradients um, we can we can pick a simple uh, simple solid color if we'd like uh, to to change any of these to be uh, just that simple. All right, so uh, what we have here now, we can select these, is um, we have shapes that we created. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to turn them into symbols. So <clears throat> if you do just one click, then uh, you end up only getting the fill and leaving the, the line or the stroke. So uh, what you want to do whenever you select something is you want to do two clicks so that you have uh, the whole object or you can uh, you can select this way um, so that you guarantee that you have everything and then you can um, you can convert to a symbol um, my computer just froze there we go you can uh, convert to symbol using the modify tool or you can um, hit F8 uh, to convert to a symbol or you can uh, right click and uh, convert to a symbol this way now when you um, convert to a symbol you have your choices here that you can have it as a graphic object a button or a movie clip now um, all of these will place the this shape into our library uh, so that we can uh, we can get it at it later. Um, but what we're going to do if we're doing action scripts and we want to manipulate uh, these with uh, programming codes, we're going to want it to be either a movie clip or a button um, because the graphics aren't going to uh, be correlated with the action script. So. Um, I, I seldom use this graphic symbol uh, or never use it actually um, it's used primarily for d design uh, if you're a graphic designer and you really don't care about writing codes but you want to create uh, images shapes and keep it stored in a library so you can easily uh, reuse these shapes over and over again but you can do the same thing with movie clips that you do with uh, graphic symbols the only difference is that movie clips can also have action script code added to it to modify it and buttons uh, have special um, qualities that we'll learn about um, so why don't we uh, turn this into a movie clip um, and we'll call this uh, we'll call this uh, uh, pentagon underscore one. All right, so when we uh, or we'll just call it Pentagon. 
um, or blue pentagon. You know, we can we can give it any name we want. Um, and this is this is a, a name so that when we look in our library, it uh, easily uh, explains exactly what it is. So I'll hit OK. There's a movie clip, and uh, we'll highlight this and we'll convert this to a symbol. I'll right click, uh, convert to symbol, um, and we'll call this. Or actually, this is what I'll do. I'm going to hit F8. So when I hit F8. Um, well, it should come up. I think it's slow. So I'm going to um, convert to symbol, and I'm going to call this uh, yellow star. Okay. And then the last one, I'm going to convert this to symbol, and I'm going to actually change this to a solid color for some of the some of the things I'm going to do later. Um, so let's get my fill. Let's let's make it uh, red, so it's a nice solid color. And uh, I'm actually going to highlight the outside of this um, with a with a better a higher a better stroke, two or more solid stroke. So that uh, shows more. All right. So now I'm going to convert this to a symbol, and I'm going to come over here, modify. Convert to symbol. I'm going to call this red star. And uh, just for fun, I'm going to create a button also. Now, um, change this button. I use I use this um, for a button. I'll change it to green. Paint bucket, green. So uh, wherever we place this, so it'll give us our a color gradient. So uh, that looks good right in the middle. So uh, now I'm going to change this into a, a button. So uh, I could double click or I can uh, drag. And I'm going to modify, convert to symbol. I'm going to change this to a button. I'm going to call this green button. So, so uh, now what we have is, we, if we look in our library, we see we have uh, a red star, a yellow star, a blue pentagon, and a green button. And you can see that uh, our movie clips have this little um, gear look to it, um, and our buttons have this little uh, push button look to it. And if we click on it, then we'll see uh, what these objects actually are in our library. And um, we can drag them. So this is the this is the nice side of it is that if we um, create buttons or we create images and uh, we save them as a symbol, whether it's a graphic object, a button, or a movie clip, then uh, we have them in our library, and whenever we need them, we can just pull them out, or we can uh, we can delete them. So if I don't need these, I can uh, cut or delete them from the stage. I can get rid of all of this stuff, and then I can decide that when I go to my library, um, I want to start with a uh, instance of a. Um, yellow star and I can drag it anywhere I want on the stage or I can use action script to, to bring these on the stage with uh, whenever whenever they are as long as they're in the library we can also use action script to to place these into our um, into our movie clip whenever we want or whenever into our flash player whenever we want so um, that's simple shapes turned into movie clips now you can also we can draw things so you know obviously I can make a star easily I don't have to save stars but what if I what if I want to do something like I want to create um, an apple and I decide all right so I draw some lines here um, doesn't have to be a great apple and 
and then I take my select tool and I and I give these some bends give it some curve to round it off and then I can uh, snap these in place like this or I can uh, move the entire object like this when I when I go like this I, I see it actually snaps into place and once everything's been snapped into place well you say well it doesn't look that great but I can continue to uh, work on it now as a single piece to make it more symmetrical make it smoother rounder and um, then I could pick a nice shiny color to it and you know add some sunlight um, and then perhaps I want to add a stem to it so I go here's some lines and I curve this out oops Oops, hit it undo. Center this with my arrows. And then pull this till it locks. I can continue to work on it. And then I can uh, pick a new color, say nice shade of green. Uh, always a nice shade of green. You know what I'm having problems seeing. There. Nice shade of green. Uh, I got my fill bucket, and now I have uh, I have a apple created. All right. So I can uh, select this, and I can turn this into a, a movie clip. Modify, convert to symbol, and movie clip, Apple. So now that's a movie clip. So if I look in my library, I have an Apple. I have all these shapes. So all these things are existing. Now there's a difference. This is a, a vector image. It's a drawing. And whenever you create um, images in Flash, you create vector images. Um, I'm going to show you, uh, you can also import bitmaps. Or uh, let's import it to the stage, or we can import it to the library. Let's import it to the library. And um, I'm preparing to import. And uh, I'm going to look in my, um, oh, right there, pictures. And I'm going to grab oops, this Apple image and open it. And uh, now if I go in my library, there it is. Now this is a picture, so it's a, a JPEG of an Apple. And I could drag this over. So I have an uh, image of an Apple, and I also have a, a real Apple. Now the difference between these two is, uh, even though this looks nice and neat right here, is if, if I expand this, you see this becomes pixelated. Uh, it's all squares, all right? So let's get rid of that. But if I uh, expand this, this is always nice and smooth along the side. And that's the difference between uh, bitmaps and vector images, is vector images are mathematically calculated or drawn, and they always, no matter how large they get, they always look nice and uh, and crisp. Okay, they always have a nice clean image um, if they're large or small. So all these are still over here. So here's here's my apple. Oh, something happened there. Uh, let's get rid of that. Oh, let's do edit undo. Edit undo. Edit undo. Edit undo. Edit undo. Edit, undo. All right, so our apples there. Cut. 
And let's go to our uh, library. So there's our apple that we drew, and there's the apple uh, that we had. But something neat is if you uh, if you want to use uh, this apple image um, as a vector, you can you can convert it to a vector image too. All right, so um, it's a bitmap, and you can uh, you can trace the bitmap, and then you can uh, have your threshold and your minimum area pixels. Um, then you hit OK, and you see now this is uh, this can be taken apart just like a drawing. Cut that out. So this is this is uh, this is actually a vector image uh, that was traced over the apple. So you could use this uh, in the same manner uh, as you wanted. Right, so if I click on it, these are shapes. So I can I can go like this and I convert this to um, a symbol. Right click, convert to symbol, and I can call this uh, uh, vector apple. All right, so we can we can change regular pictures, and then we can modify uh, we can modify these images in a, in a lot of ways uh, as a graphical element instead of just having a picture that we can't really do much with. So that's just some basics of creating uh, symbols. Um, so let's uh, I'll get rid of this. Cut. And uh, we'll put a second apple on the stage. And uh, we still have all these nice things in our library over here. So uh, there's different ways we can modify these. So if we give this, this is an instant. You could think of an instant as uh, maybe if this was a, a, a stack of uh, post-it notes. That I can I can drag these endlessly. There's an unlimited amount of Apple in my library, and every time I drag this, I get a a carbon copy. But uh, now that I have two on the stage, I can now modify this as an instant, and I can call this uh, Apple uh, underscore one, and I could give this the instant name of Apple underscore two. And I can modify this uh, by using ActionScript, or if I just click on it, there's all types of things I can do uh, to modify this. I could change the position, so let's do uh, 0, 0, and that puts it, uh, the registration point is what I was talking about, puts it at 0, 0. So if I had the registration point up in the, uh, in the left corner when I had created this movie clip, then 0, 0 would look like this where it was zero zero in, the, in this corner All right, this is zero zero and then this over here is uh, probably 550 I didn't see let's see uh, 550 is uh, across and uh, this is plus 400 down over here uh, for our Y so our X goes across from zero all the way to plus 550 and our Y goes from 0 all the way down to 400 because that's our stage size in pixels. All right, so, so we change that to 0, 0. I can modify that there. Uh, and then we could do uh, color effects. I can, uh, I can adjust the brightness. All right. Or I can adjust the tint. So I can have overall tint or I can get rid of uh, the red or get rid of the green or get rid of the blue All right, so I can adjust the tint for this in different ways or I could um, oops I could do the alpha and alpha is uh, transparency All right, so you can see uh, this is a solid apple and then this is an invisible apple all the way over here and then I have different levels of transparency so things can fade they can come in and come out um, and I only altered this instance. I don't alter my uh, library um, object or symbol. And I don't alter this in, uh, instance of the apple, just this one. Okay? Now we can also modify uh, our apple. We had, we had used our um, color effects, uh, brightness, tint. We, we, had, uh, we had done a lot of those things uh, to modify. Uh, our Apple II, uh, we get rid of this, uh, cut, 
but we can also use action script to modify um, our apple and this is apple one so um, we want to put in a layer here and we're gonna we're gonna call this our uh, apples we're gonna call this our actions and we can uh, go to window open our actions or we could push F9 to open this um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to use action script to place this apple uh, somewhere on our somewhere on our screen so this is our, our instant is our instant name is apple underscore one so we will put um, apple underscore one dot x for our x position equals 300 so our, our apple is already at a position we could have changed our position simply by moving around but uh, our instant of this apple we'll call it apple one um, we'll put the X position and that'll be the center point at 300 apple underscore one dot X or Y position equals 200 I just picked these numbers randomly. All right, so so this is zero zero, and for our y, as we move down, it gets positive, and we have uh, from zero to four hundred, so two hundred be somewhere in the middle, and we have zero to five fifty, so three hundred would be somewhere in the middle. So this should place our apple. We'll say control, test movie, in flash, and we'll see our apple is somewhere in the middle of the screen now. All right, and this is the this is the the registration point is that point that's 200 for the X position or 200 for the Y position and 300 for the X position so wherever uh, we put this coordinate that's where our uh, registration point ends up and ours is a center registration if I had had the, the left corner then the registration point here and the apple would be down here somewhere but this is a center position because uh, that's that's how I like to have things line up is so that they're centered so that puts an apple um, when it loads from over here in this corner we could place the apple anywhere I could put it in the top corner here or I could even place it off the screen and when we go control test movie and flash this instant of the apple will always appear in the middle of the stage so that's that's nice uh, for placing it's a nice little piece of code for placing uh, movie clips um, when they are they can be anywhere in the screen you can have them off the side and you could place instances, instances of movie clips where they are but um, we can also uh, create we can also create instances from our from our um, our library here so if we look at our library we have a yellow star uh, we have a red star um, we have a blue pentagon we have our apple so we can take um, we can take our red star here and our registration point is in the center and um, we can create an action script linkage and we'll call it red star So now we have our we have our action script linkage for the red star. We could do this we could do this for for all of our movie clips. Yellow star. 
and we can't leave any spaces because we're going to use this um, for coding and this allows us to do it uh, simple call this Apple and I'll do a lowercase we can name it anything we want and there's the last one here blue Pentagon we can also do the the green button uh, blue Pentagon all right so now we have our action script linkage now we could use these in our code so if we look I'm gonna push F9 and it's not opening so um, I will open that way action scripts so we placed our our instance of our Apple onto the middle of the middle of the uh, stage and we could also take uh, let's take our uh, yellow star and we can um, we can take it from the library and place it into into our uh, stage when it when it runs so um, we'll call this uh, an instant of yellow star underscore one uh, we could have multiple yellow stars and what we're taking it from is our linkage of yellow star which is uh, which is what we have in our library and we're gonna create a new yellow star at runtime and uh, we're gonna put this um, this instant of yellow star which we call yellow star underscore one we're gonna put that uh, X position is equal to 100 and yellow star underscore one dot Y position is equal to 100 also all right and the last bit of code we have to do is we have to add our instant our child all right, it's called add child is to add it at runtime to the stage so we add uh, our child which is the instant name yellow star underscore one and so we're going to take our yellow star from from our library and we're going to add it to the stage so let's see control test movie in flash so there it is so this is the center point uh, 100 uh, 100 um, that we can add there and We can also add we can scale it so that it's uh, it's larger or as big as the so if we we also put in uh, yellow star underscore one dot or not scale dot scale x equals 2 so that'd be a scale two times 
or times 2. And we uh, have its y. So our x is our width and our y is our, is our height. Yellow star underscore 1 dot scale y equals 2. Um, we can we can copy this and just for comparison copy I can I can add a um, yellow star 2 so we have an instant named yellow star 1 and I could also have an instant yellow star 2 And I can make this half the size of the original, so we'll have 0 0.5. 0 0.5 would be half the size of the original. And I could um, even add a yellow star 3. Change all this to yellow star 3. So, so what I'm going to do here is I have yellow star 1, 2, and 3. Um, I'm going to keep yellow star 1, just like I had it originally. Um, and I'm going to change this to fifty fifty x XY point position. And then I'm going to have this at 100, 100, and... Then I'm going to have this at uh, an X position across of 300. All right, I could do this. Let's do this. 100. This is uh, 300 across 100. Let's double the size. All right, so 100, 100, 100. This is going to be 200. This is going to be 400. 100, 200, 400. So uh, let's uh, hit Control, Test Movie, and Flash. All right, so here we have our stars. So we have our uh, original star. Uh, this is at 100, this is at 200, and this is at 400. Um, and here's our apple that we placed it. We can see here's original, here's half the size, and here's double the size. So these are these are different variables that we can add into this. Um, some other variables that I can add uh, simply to to put in here. All right, so this one is over the apple so I can also add uh, yellow star underscore three and I could add an alpha So dot alpha equals point three. Um, and then we can have we have our our scale x. We can have our rotation so let's do this one and let's do uh, yellow star underscore two dot rotation 
equals ten. Parentheses. And I forgot to add this colon, semicolon. All right, so then I uh, control test movie and flash. Now you can see the alpha here, right? And uh, this one has moved over, right? So our original one was at an angle. This one has moved over. Um, doesn't look like quite a bit, but it has. Let's uh, let's change it to 15 and see what happens. And let's let's change our yellow star position to. Um, 200. Let's test this. Control, test movie, flash. All right, so so here we have uh, our our star is being rotated, but it doesn't seem to look like it is. Let's do um, 12. Or maybe it isn't. Um, so it's it's straight up and down where these are crooked, so we, we rotated it slightly. This one has its alpha uh, going through. Um, we can we can use the same rotation on the apple. So we can copy this. And we can have uh, apple underscore one dot rotation equals 12 control test movie all right so we can see that this is uh, slightly crooked all right so our, our star has uh, has been moved but it's being since it's uh, symmetrical it's it's hard to see that it was moved so our apple is is rotated uh, slightly to the right so these are some simple scripts that we can place on there. Uh, we can also make uh, multiple variables. Variables. So let's look at something else here. So we have um, a red star. So um, we can uh, take our red star and let's let's do something different to the red star. All right, so let's make it let's make it an animated uh, movie clip. So I click in here, and what I'm going to do is now I'm inside uh, the movie clip of Red Star, and I'm going to select this again, and I'm going to convert it to a symbol. Right click, convert to a symbol, and I'm going to be inner oh, inner star. And I was also going to show you that. Uh, you can set this to action script right off the bat so you can export to action script and then it'll it'll actually already have this uh, put in there all right and I don't have to so inner star is inner star and it'll export in frame one so you can hit OK and this way when you create the movie clip right from the beginning you can have it already set up with its with its action script linkage. And this says uh, definition could not be found, so one was automatically generated. Well, that's nice. Um, so you hit OK. Um, and now that I have a movie clip inside, I can animate that movie clip. So let's do, uh, let's put an insert keyframe here. And then I'm going to rotate this star. So I got a rotation, and now I'm going to insert a classic, um, classic tween, all right? Classic tween. So, so now this is is rotating in here, and um, I'll go back to my original scene, and I really uh, don't need this anymore. So I'll just cut that out of there, and I'm going to go back to my action script. So window actions and now this is my red star so 
I'm going to create a variable and the instant name I'm going to call it is red star underscore one and what it's going to uh, be made from is red star my my action script or my uh, action script linkage and equals uh, new red star and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to um, create a series of these all at once and I want to do that first so I have uh, four parentheses my variable integer i for integer uh, equals zero semicolon i integer less than ten semicolon integer added added again parentheses so then I, I keep this and I have um, my red star underscore one dot x position equals 50 times my integer plus 50 every time so integers of 50 and then my uh, Y position, red star underscore one dot Y position is equal to three hundred. Oops. And um, then we'll have it. We'll just add it like that. Add child red star underscore one. And then we close parentheses. All right, so let's take a look what's going to happen. Our control, test movie, and flash. Oh. All right, no, nothing happened because when we check here, uh, our linkage was actually red star lowercase. I thought it was uppercase, but it's red star lowercase. So we need to go back and make sure that we have uh, this is lowercase. So our our original copy, original object or symbol, movie clip is in the library is red star, not red capital S T A R. So now we can try it. Control test movie. Still nothing. So uh, we also had a typo here. We had instead of our uh, semicolon, we had a comma there. So add a semicolon. No, nope. semicolon. And we have control. 
test movie and flash and now everything works okay so we got our, our apple slicers spinning here uh, we have our stars um, we have all of this going on um, but wait there's more so something else we can we can do with our with our action script is uh, we can create a uh, motion across here so uh, we have our we have our apple we have our uh, yellow star sitting here uh, yellow star one and uh, we can create a, a shooting star so we can um, add a uh, listener event so we have um, add event listener and we put in parentheses our event that we're going to have is the is simply the enter underscore frame oops frame and uh, we'll create a function and we'll call it uh, shooting star so we'll call the shooting star all right and now we will uh, we will create our function shooting star which is an event and what we're going to have happen here is we're going to have um, yellow star one the instance yellow star underscore one x position is going to increase at one integer for every frame cycle or 24 frames per second so let's so control test movie and we'll see this moves across as this goes through here so we have a shooting star now we can also we can increase the um, we can increase the shooting star uh, by a faster integer so I'll increase oops and that will be equal to 10 pixels for every frame control and then it just shoots off right so these are some of the things that we can do with um, with creating objects and uh, Next time we will do more things.